Hey everyone, this is Weirdwin911. Welcome back to Let's Play Infamous 2. The last episode was mostly side missions with, what, us going and saving a guy's medicine supply, saving hostages from militia trying to sacrifice them, becoming heroes, whatnot. <laughs> anyway, now, it happened again. I ran into a mission that I had to take right away while grinding. So, I'm going to show that, like, right now. Okay, so here we have Convoy. This is where we are on the map. And this is going to give us another section as it is a side mission. And side missions tend to do that. Anyway, so this was something I couldn't avoid. Like that one over in St. Ignatius with the package. Convoy, here we go. You know, oddly, this side mission is usually something you get by taking out the militia fighting the rebels over on those two rooftops. So this is interesting. Anyway, I could probably get over to these guys by intercepting them. They're gonna be making this turn. So, let's wait from here. Wait for all three vehicles to make the turn. Alright, time to kill you all! Hey, stop driving! Hey, no, what? Woman! Ah. Uh. This is what happens when you get in the way. Okay, once that car explodes in the cemetery, there we go, convoy complete. And we get territory that's hardly in the area of which we used to kill those militia. But anyway, that's the end of that quest. See you back where we were. So yeah, interesting predicament that mission was brought up in. Anyway, now it's time for us to take on enemy surveillance. Let's do this. There's a swamp monster around the prowl around here. The only way to hunt a thing like that is to track it back to its lair and strike while it's asleep. If you're man enough. Ooh, attacking our pride now, are we? Alright, anyway. Now, you may be wondering why I sound a little bit different. Like, my acoustics are a bit off. Well, if you could really call them acoustics. Basically, I sound different. That's because I have decided to go with a new mic setup that makes it so that I don't have to put my mic so close to my face. Because the problem last time, or for a while, ever since I got these PX-22s, was that the mic was way too close to my face to get any good amount of quality. So what I'm doing now, instead of having the mic levels down and having my mic so close to my mouth, is that I'm doing... I, I'm, I'm placing the mic for as far away as I can from my mouth, because this is a headset mic, and I'm anteing up the mic levels. So... Yeah, I feel like this will produce a bit better qual commentary with better dynamic range, I suppose is the phrase I'm looking for. Holy shit, okay. You- ow! Ah, uh, wait, what the hell? Where's the- Okay, the uh, normal corrupted is gone for some reason. Damn it. So, I guess he went down? I don't know. <laughs> 
kind of confused as to what happened to that last guy. Okay. So, now that we've completed that other enemy surveillance, even though we did enemy surveillance last time, we can now go on to one of these missions, since they are closer, but at that point, it's like none of them are particularly far away, so let's go with Police Parade. Not doing any of the evil missions, since, you know, good playthrough and all. Bye, muggers! Don't even need to move my aim any. Okay, so... As I said before, I'm not gonna teleport too much, since that's the exception, not the rule. You get the idea. Also, I also need to address something else in regards to what I do during my grinding. I do get the karmic opportunities where you can defuse the blast shard bombs and then take the blast shards, but I don't usually show them. Why is this? Well, because the whole point of me showing off where the blast shards are, are so that you can adequately follow along, with, like, without having too much trouble and with me showing you everything I do. With the blast shard bombs, it's always going to be pointed out whenever it's near you, so it really isn't that big of a problem. And also, those blast shards you get from those missions are extraneous. Technically, if you do the karmic stuff, you get more blast shards than you need. So anyway, now we're going to be taking on a police parade. Those rednecks are taking people off the streets and marching them away. The ones they take, nobody ever sees again. You have to find them and stop them. Alright, so this is basically just a glorified kidnapping, abduction. See, it even has the freaking sign. Except this one starred and it has about two times more militiamen. You gotta be careful where these guys aim. Yes, you need to be careful where they aim. Since they can accidentally, like, drop a grenade and... and uh, kill what- kill some of the cops with them. But it's not too hard to do. As you can see, we kept all nine hostages alive. So, territory taken. Evil mission- oh. Hero to the people! This is a mission- this is a trophy you get for achieving full pos- full positive? Hold on, I don't fucking remember. No, because I don't have full positive karma. Huh. Interesting, I'll have to see what that is later on. Anyway- Firing squad. Help! They're executing people up on that rooftop! Oh lord. No. No! So we've got a few executioners up here, and we ha have the goal of saving these hostages. And that failed. The problem with climbing up the way I'm going is that the militia tend to fire. Uh, they fired. Okay, so second try is a charm. There we go, firing squad complete. Also, it's it get went back up to 10 side missions until the next upgrade, so as you can probably tell... New powers available, Gigawatt Drain. Now we can increase our drain speed by 100% of the original. Speed. Yeah. Either way, it's really good, so... Take it. Okay, so now we have the last mission that is visible to us right now.
Tough Critic. I'm actually going through these faster than I imagined. Though, I will say that it's probably due, due to the fact that I'm not taking into consideration the fact that I have a convoy mission in the works. Yeah. <laughs> it is technically in the works. I myself haven't done it, but by the time you guys see it, it's already been done, so... Oops. What the hell? Conflict? Who are you guys fighting? I'll just take care of that for you guys. Okay. So now we can float over here. Don't know who they're still fighting. I only saw one guy. But, tough critic. Let's do this. My prisoner's giving me a lot of trouble. I need more men. It'd be a big help if you could guard him until I get back. He's over here. Alright, so now we have a tied up militiaman. Hmm. That's him. Just hang tight until I return with some backup to haul him off. Yes, sir. Hey, how about you untie me so I can cave your skull in with that little toning fork you got there? Jesus Christ, dude, you fucking psychopath. Thought you guys were supposed to be fighting for, like, good and stuff. Like Especially the old folks. Young ones, too. I can do whatever. You're not I setting a very good example of what Bertrand's trying to portray a as a hero. He escapes again. Kill him. You could say he was trying to escape. This is a car- and then Nyx introduces us to a karmic opportunity similar in vain to the karmic opportunities in Infamous 1. Which is really nice. So, yeah, just a nice callback. Anyway, we successfully chose the good path, so now the police are back and they can haul him off. I just hope we have enough dirt to convict him. Oh, you want to convict him, eh? I've got it all on tape. You guys can use my footage as you please. <laughs> okay, quest complete. So, remember when I said all the missions that were visible? Well, after clearing those four missions, four missions I actually did within this recording session rather than the convoy that's over here, here, uh, Triage opens up. Our next side mission. So, we could probably make good headway by... ...getting on here. Let's just get some power. And... ...riding it out. I'd also like to mention that during my grind... ...my grind, uh, in between the last episode and this one... ...I actually got every single blast shard in... This island of New Marais. Yep, the entire first island is completely devoid of blast shards now. While I do still have like 10 dead drops left, that means I have to worry about one less thing until we migrate over there. So, that's nice. I'll be sure to show off all the blast shards that I got on in the montage at the end of this episode, so don't worry about that. Anyway, did I dismount? Okay, well that's not too bad. No. But, when I teleported I accidentally saved a UGC mission, that's what that is. But it's an empty mission, so, well, I've... Anyway, triage. Looks like it's for a medical clinic. Our doctors are being forced to serve the militia exclusively. Free them, and we'll always treat your injuries. Okay. So now let's head on over. Hmm. Hold up. Uh, no, I can check that later. Let's see how good I am at sniping.
Damn it! Okay, that was easy enough. Triage mission complete. Okay, I'm just gonna walk over here, over to the plantation where I believe Quo was kept. And looks like I already got the bird here. Huh. So, anyway. Uh. Damn it, looks like there's nothing left. Oops. Oh, Pi Guy. So, forgive me, but I'm going to use the rest of this episode to try and hunt for blast shards. No, blast shards. No, I got all the blast shards. Uh, dead drops. Because, as I said before, I don't, use, I don't get dead drops in the grinds just so that I can actually have them play for you as I find them. But I am ahead of schedule, so, yeah. Now, I will get a bit of story progress done in this episode, but just a bit, like a cutscene, maybe. For now, I'm going to focus on getting these dead drops, because the dead drops are important to the story, as they serve to enlighten. There's our bird. Let's get it with a lightning hook. Why the hell are they running? A bird fell. So what? Observations of subject 881 file C1. Sorry. Just gonna make a dead drop over here. Dead drop. Well, I'm gonna search for a dead drop over there. One of Bertrand's charter buses unloaded 52 men with curious accents requiring medical screening. Every one of them was in top physical condition. They were soldiers, veterans. I called one over to review his file and asked him about the syndrome's death. He admitted they were from Wehrmacht 88, a private military firm out of South Africa. During the examination, I discovered scar tissue covering his body, landmine, shrapnel, bullets. Sorry. Cities, the whole group was similarly decorated. Needless to say, the exams took longer than expected. I thought perhaps Bertram was recruiting some new muscle. Subject 881 was surprised I wasn't better informed and became tight-lipped. He did let slip that, in fact, Bertram was the one being paid. Then he laughed at my expression. Why was Bertram being paid? He refused to say. Many more buses followed. Okay, so interesting right there. Bertrand had contact with a militia firm called Vermach 88. These guys, according to like TV and such, have been shown to be successful during this time of otherwise economic turmoil due to the fact that Empire City was such a big trade center. You know, similarly to how New York City is a big trade center. All right, is there a bird? There's a bird, yay. So this was not for not. <laughs> Swear to God, those are two different words. Okay, there's our bird. Give me your message. Audio surveillance of Agent Lucy Quo, file G84. I realize you placed a lot of faith in me, Quo. I want to be deserving of that faith. And right as not, I need to confess something to you. The NSA asked me to recall a conversation. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of grinding over their conversation here. And talking. Also talking. 
you all the time. If you like, I can submit copies to you along with my regular reports. I'm on your side. Okay, so we have a bit of funny business going on between those two in the recordings. Oh my god, so many karmic opportunities. It's just that that one was the easiest to get to, so anyway, the bird wasn't where I thought it would be, so let's just follow this line again. Sorry, abductees and mugging victims. But, I don't quite have time. I want to get to these birds as fast as possible. Okay, this should be 13. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B146. What kind of lemon are you trying to sell me, Doctor? The transfer device works precisely as designed. We are seeing an 86% power exchange rate between individual conduits. But what you're trying to do... I'm trying to turn a profit, Doctor. Your fancy machines cost money. Splitting the power stream among multiple recipients is dangerous. The results could be highly unstable. As long as it works, we're in business. Make it work. Okay, Bertrand. Jesus fucking Christ. You heard the person who's the expert, and you're choosing to ignore him. Huh. Of course you would. Anyway, mugging victim. I can resolve this quickly. Why are people afraid? I was saving someone. It's so weird. It's like you try to use your powers for anything while you're around people and they just freak the fuck out. Be grateful, damn it! I am saving your asses! Alright, anyway. Now Ooh, TV report. It was hoped the Empire threat would pass harmlessly out to sea this week once it reached Florida. Instead, it's changed course and is now heading west. Director Houston of the NSA stated that according to this recent behavior, the Empire threat is unlikely to be a natural phenomenon and is believed to be alive. President Navarro plans to engage the threat with military strikes, but due to the current troop deficit, Navarro has employed military contractor Vermock 88 to provide additional support. One of the largest cities standing in the new path of the phenomenon is New Marais. No stranger to disasters and hardship, Numeray experienced a massive flood in 2004 that cost the city thousands of lives and billions in damages. When a dramatic rise in violent crime crippled the city's police force, popular business mogul Joseph Bertrand responded by funding a local militia to step in and re-establish order. Bertrand says his militia stands ready to protect the people of Numeray from whatever comes their way. Okay, interesting points on in that newscast. We have the further presence of the Vermont 88. We have Bertrand there. And, well, okay, I don't know if there's another and. Hold on, sorting through my thoughts. Uh, whatever, give me time to think. I'll do it during this cutscene for transferring power. Hey, Cole. Thought that was you. What's up, man? So is all here. What's the big secret, Zeke? It is official. Transfer device is somewhere in Fort Philippe. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <sighs> Little girl's just pissed because Bertrand copied her powers onto a bunch of nobody. It's be destroyed. We need to destroy it. Wait. No, 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 no. No way. We keep it for ourselves. Rip off the powers from everybody else, yeah? You don't understand. I don't understand what, bitch? That you feel <sighs> used and violated by a machine? You know what? I have known you five hey, minutes break and it, I'm break sick of Use it. It doesn't matter if you don't get the damn thing. Now listen to me. Fort Philippe is huge. It's going to take an army to get in there and cover the exits and sweep the interior. <sighs> we could team up with LaRoche and his men. Yeah? Why are they going to help us? <sighs> Textbook Hearts and Minds campaign. We give them something they really need. Yeah, like my foot up their ass. 
like food, like shelter, like, like antibiotics. I haven't seen any of the militia suffering from the plague. Bertrand must be hoarding all the meds. Oh, then that is what we give to LaRoche. I made a map of all the militia patrols. Maybe it'll help you find the stash. I would love to see that. Come on. Perfect. Good work, Quo. This is great. You guys, this is gonna work. What? Give away medicine, man? No, 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 no. That's just gonna make those folks stronger. We need them angry and dependent on us. And how are we gonna do that? I say, you dress me up like one of militia guys, and I go on an ass-kicking spree. Oh, <laughs> you mean a massacre. <laughs> Whatever, man. Then you swoop in and save the day. You'll be a hero to those idiots. <laughs> what you think, baby? Oh, I think you're crazy. I think you like it. Okay, so here is our blue, red or blue mission. Obviously, good and evil mission that are all the way over there. So I'm just going to cut the episode off here because I know it's been going on for quite a while. So next time we're going to be taking on, as heroes, the Hearts and Minds campaign. This has been Where Ruin 911. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.